Hey, what's up, everybody? Dorn Aldana here coming at you with another kick-ass episode from the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. And today we're going to talk about why realtors hate the average Joe LOs that are bombarding them every single day, every single week, and how to flip the script so you don't get positioned as one of those, so that you become a welcome guest as opposed to an annoying pest. How to flip the script so that the realtor needs you more than you need them. So you're in the power position. So you have the cookie. So you got what they want and you're no longer just a scrub begging for business, groveling for business. But you're in a position where now you are interviewing them, not the other way around, where you are in a position where you're going to see if they're going to have the privilege and opportunity to work with you, not the other way around. And let's be real, most loan officers, mortgage professionals, loan originators don't operate that way, do they? Most mortgage professionals are doing it the hard way, chasing realtors, hoping they're gonna throw them a bone. They got a lackluster value proposition. They got an old hat method. They're using caveman methods from the dark ages. And then they wonder why it ain't working. They wonder why realtors won't give them the time of day. They wonder why they're rejected and while realtors are apathetic and don't even answer the phone anymore. Wonder no longer friends. It's because you're positioning yourself as an average Joe LO or an average Jolette, if we're gonna use the feminine term. I don't even know if that's a feminine rendition of Jolette of Joe, but hey, we'll go with that. So what are we going to do to stand out from the clutter, from, to stand out from the pack and really get noticed but most importantly, to be able to get appointments with top producing agents who make you their exclusive and to be able to elicit that trust and that connection and that synergy and that rapport so that that magic happens where you're only working with cool cats that you love working with. You have great synergy. You have great energy, great chemistry. You're having fun together. You're making funds together. You're serving clients together. And it's just like this great dance where you're operating in your respective zones of genius, you're having fun and things are just working and you have mutual respect and rapport and connection and you love each other, you adore each other, you respect each other, you would be at each other's weddings or you'd be at each other's you know, anniversaries or you'd be at each other's birthday parties, you'd be at each other's respective funerals when you take your last breath, like that kind of a connection. How do we create that by virtue of making that first cro cross or shot across the bow rather, that first cro uh, shot across the bow where you're able to get past the cynicism, resignation, skepticism, and all the callous that they've established over the years just by virtue of all these average Joe LOs bombarding them with the same lame ass value prop. Well, before we can do that, we need to understand what it is about these average Joe LOs, not necessarily who they are as a human being, but just their approach the realtors hate. What is it about their approach that realtors hate? Let's talk about that, shall we? So the first thing that realtors hate, now this is based on 15 years of experience on the front lines of real life, working with mortgage professionals on the front lines of capitalism. And this is what I hear time and time again, both from real estate agents, as well as from loan officers who are feeding back the feedback they're getting from the realtors they're talking to. The first reason why realtors hate average Joe LOs and they're just done with their overtures and approaches and why they won't give them the time of day is because they come across as what I call loan leeches. They come across as mortgage parasites. They come across just coming to get business, not give business. All they talk about is great rates, great service, throw me a bone. They're coming to get, not to give. And as you can imagine, a top producing realtor doesn't have time for that. They don't have time to mess around having their valuable time chewed up for a loan leech who just wants to suck them dry of referrals. You kidding me? They got better things to do and bigger fish to fry. So that's one of the reasons why realtors aren't giving you the time of day if you're experiencing that kind of resistance is because you don't have a compelling enough value proposition and you're positioning yourself as just the same old, same old average Joe LO. You've got to shift your positioning so that you come across as a welcome guest, not an annoying pest, which means you need to shift your value prop 
from great rates, great service, which frankly is a minimum expectation just to be in business. That doesn't separate you from the pack. That doesn't make them want to work with you. They expect that as a minimum criteria just to be in business. We've got to now start to push the right buttons, push the right hot buttons so that these realtors are like, yeah, let's meet. Yeah, I'm game. I'm down. Let's do this. How do you do that? Well, you first got to understand that their knee jerk reaction and their default setting is to see you as a loan leech. So you've got to break through that paradigm. You've got to break that pattern and be able to have something unique that stands out from the clutter. Something that gets them to say, whoa, I hadn't heard that before. Or wow, that sounds cool. Or wow, praise God, there is actually an intelligent human being in the loan officer community who understands what a realtor is really looking for, which is helping me grow my business, helping me get more deals, put more cash in my wallet, help me make more money with less time, energy, and effort, right? So the first reason why realtors aren't giving the time of day, if indeed you're experiencing that, is they're seeing you as a loan leech. You've got to find a way to get past that paradigm and shift their paradigm to seeing you anew, seeing you afresh, seeing you differently. The second, the second thing that uh, I'm just messing with my visuals here, bear with me. The second reason that realtors hate average Joe LO mortgage pros is because they have un no unique value. So kind of similar to what we talked about earlier with the loan leech. Those two usually come hand in hand. They have no unique value or they're not articulating it in a compelling and meaningful and relevant way such that the realtor sees you as a loan leech. So those two usually come hand in hand. But the perception that they see you as a loan leech is inextricably linked with you lacking a compelling unique value proposition or your ability to articulate your unique value proposition in a compelling and relevant and meaningful way. So what is your unique value? If someone was to ask you, why should a top producing realtor work with you over and above any and all their other options, what would it be? Do you have a compelling answer to that? If your answer is great rates, great service, I close loans on time, or I have great niche products and programs, that ain't going to cut it, my friend. You know it. I know it. That's why you're watching this because you realize what you're doing ain't working at the level you need it to. True? So you've got to have unique value. What is that unique value? I'll give it to you plainly and simply. You need to show them how to make more money, how to close more deals, how to earn more commissions, how to get more done in less time, energy, and effort, and stress, how to streamline, how to expedite, how to condense decades into days how to do what I do for my clients in the mortgage space, which is help them make more money with less time, energy, effort, and stress. If you can show them how to do that, if you can dangle a carrot and actually be able to fulfill on it, which is I'm going to actually send you business, not the other way around. I'm looking for a top producing agent to send business to because I have buyers that are looking to me and my leadership to get them the best outcome and I will only send them to the best. I'm looking for the best. I'm looking for the best for my clients to work with. That's why I'm interviewing right now for a top producing agent in your area. I wanna see if perhaps we might have the right fit to have you receive that business, okay? That's the kind of shift we need to make, okay? Now, we obviously need to be able to deliver on that value too. It's not enough just to promise it, we got to be able to deliver it. Under promise, over deliver. Otherwise, it all falls apart. Once they see that it's just talk and you're not walking the talk, it all falls apart. So we got to be able to deliver on those bold promises. And that's what I teach my mortgage professional clients how to do. The third reason why realtors abhor and frankly hate uh, the average Joe LOs and their overtures is because they have the same lame ass approach. They're calling the same realtors every freaking Monday with the same lame ass value proposition. It's either, hey, let's get together. I hear you, I hear you have a great reputation. Let's get together and see if we can work together. Or it's, I got great rates, great service, throw me a bone. Or it's, hey, how did your weekend go? How do your open houses go? It's just lame. There's no other way to put it. It's just lame. It's boring. It's Snoozeville boring. Now, I've never heard of a single one top producing agent in 15 years of doing this that gets inspired and compelled and motivated to work with a new loan officer they've never worked 
with before out of boredom, out of a lame ass value proposition that makes them bored, that has their head slip, their, their eyes slip into the back of their head and nod off into a coma. I've never seen it once. Chances are you'll be no exception. So using the same lame ass approach that these so-called mortgage gurus and mortgage experts are telling you to do, calling the same freaking realtor every Monday when all their other disciples are calling the same realtors on the same day with the same lame ass approach, how well do you think that's going to work? Not so well, if you hadn't noticed by now. If you don't have something that is unique, that's compelling, that's fresh, that makes you stand up from the clutter, you're going to get lumped in the same box, the, shit, the same junk drawer of being considered a lame ass, average Joe, LO, and frankly, they hate wasting their time with that. They hate having their bandwidth being chewed up by it. They hate being distracted and derailed by it. They hate having the same lame ass approach every Monday from all these disciples of these so-called mortgage coaches and mortgage experts. They're getting you do, to do it the hard way. Let's be real. Doing it that way is doing it the hard way. It's Cro-Magnon caveman style marketing from the dark ages that maybe worked 20 years ago. It doesn't work it anymore. That's like trudging through the mud with concrete blocks on your feet, heading to the gunfight with a butter knife. It ain't going to go so well. You guys got to upgrade your artillery. You got to upgrade your firepower. If you want to build the foundation for a skyscraper, you don't want to settle for building the foundation by digging out the hole with a shovel or worse, a gardening trowel. You want to use 21st century technology with something called an excavator that allows you to get infinitely more done in way less time, right? There's no brownie points or merit badges at the bank for doing it the hard way. So that's the third reason. The fourth reason why realtors hate being distracted, derailed, and their time chewed up by average Joe LOs with lame ass value and lame ass approaches is because it comes from a place of weakness, not strength. You're coming from a place needing business. You're coming from a needy place. You're coming from a place where the realtor needs you, or rather the other way around, you need the realtor more than the realtor needs you. That's called neediness. That's called coming from a place where you're prospecting not positioning. And you need their referrals. You need their leads. You need their business. And you're just leeching onto them. You're coming from a place of weakness, not strength. In the dating world, how well does that work? If you are dating and someone's coming across really needy and really sleazy and uncool where they're kind of like calling you, uh, lighting up your phone 20 times a day or lighting up your phone with texts 30 times a day, What's your, the impression you get? There's neediness, right? It's coming from a place of weakness as opposed to the, to the, the, the stud or the studette, you know, who's really owning their, their uniqueness, owning their beauty, owning who they are and what they bring to the world. And they kind of almost, there's almost a sense of indifference, not that they're arrogant, not that they're apathetic, but they don't need you. How compelled are you to want to court that person? A lot more than the needy person who's lighting up your phone 50 times a day, right? So it's that weakness that we've got to remove because it's the weakness that these realtors hate. They hate you coming across from a place of weakness. They want you to come from a place of strength, power, confidence, certainty, almost a, a, a position and a posture of indifference. It's like this relaxed confidence where you just know that you know that you know that you're the real deal. It's not arrogance. See, the difference between arrogance and confidence is arrogance thinks they're good, but they don't know why they're good. Confidence knows they're good and knows why they're good, right? They own that certainty, that confidence, and they have lots of references to the core of their being, why they know their stuff, why they have the certainty they do. It's really potent. It's not hollow and anemic. It's potent. It's robust. You want to own that. That can only come from you. That comes from inside your heart where you know that you know that you know that you're the real deal. And the reason for that is because who you are, your identity is impact. Your identity is massive value. Your identity is excellence. Your identity is a winner and winners always find a way to win. 
and they bring other people's into their winner's wake to be part of that winning process with them. Notice how it's anchored into your core. You're not coming from a place of weakness. You're coming from a place of strength. You guys with me on that? And then the next reason why real estate agents hate getting their time sucked up with these average Joe LOs is that how they're coming across is inclusive as opposed to exclusive. It's inclusive. I'll work with anyone with a pulse that can fog a mirror. That's how they come across. I don't differentiate. I don't withhold anything from anybody. I treat everyone the same. Anyone with a pulse who can fog a mirror, basically, who calls himself a realtor, I'll work with. That's the average Joe LO. That's the inclusive approach versus the exclusive approach. The clients I work with, when they start using my formula and my methods, they have the exclusive approach. They're not needy. They understand that the realtor needs them more than they need the realtor. They've got kick-ass value. They've got a massive stack of awesome they bring exclusively to top producing realtors who qualify for their VIP partnership program. It's exclusive. Think about anything in life that has an allure of honor and prestige. It's exclusive. Why do people ooh and awe about Rolexes? They're expensive. That makes them exclusive. Why do people covet it? the VIP pass at Disney World where you don't have to wait in line? You get to bypass the lineup. The VIP pass is exclusive. You got to pay more for it. Why do people wish they could be on the front of the plane instead of the back of the plane next to the two fat people? Because you have way more elbow room and there's exclusive benefits for those who pony up the extra dough to be in first class. You guys with me? Why do people love being in a five-star hotel or resort? Because it's exclusive. There's exclusive benefits that only come to those who are willing to pay the price to get access to those exclusive benefits. You want to create your VIP partnership program the same way. You want to be exclusive versus inclusive. And the reason why realtors abhor the overtures of average Joe LOs is because they're the opposite. They're inclusive. Anyone with a pulse who could fog a mirror basically will qualify. That's not who you want to be. That's not how you want to position yourself. True? So inclusive is not the way to go. Exclusive is the way to go. The next reason why realtors really dislike, frankly, even hate the average Joe LO approach is because they position themselves as a prospector chasing instead of a positioner who's attracting. Notice the difference in the vibration and in the feeling between being chased versus being attracted. You know, if we come back to the dating world, if someone's chasing you, what's your first knee-jerk reaction? To run, right? <laughs> to run like hell and get the hell out of there. Because you don't want to be chased. You want to be attracted. You want to be courted. You want to be you know, drawn in. You want that allure to draw you in. You want to be captivated. You want to be enticed. You want to be, maybe I could use even use the word seduced in a way, but seduced elegantly, right? Same thing here. You don't want to be a prospector. That's what average Joe LOs do. You want to be a positioner who owns your, you own your power, you own your certainty, you own your confidence, you own your intention to make a massive difference for the few. You don't work with the many, you work with the few. You'd rather run with the few than drag the many. You don't work with the interested, you work with the committed, right? So you're very selective, you're very clear on what works for you, what doesn't work for you, what you want, what you don't want. You do not settle, you do not bend. You honor your integrity with yourself and your values. And now the realtor is not interviewing you, you're interviewing the realtor. Now you're in a position where you're picking and choosing who you work with. And if anything, they're disqualifying themselves. They're not rejecting you. They're disqualifying themselves. That's how you take a no. You don't take a no as rejection. You take a no as, okay, apparently you just disqualified yourself. Apparently you're not what I'm looking for. Apparently you're not the champion I'm looking for because I only work with champions. You're not saying that, but that's the mindset. That's the belief you have, okay? 
you certainly would say I only work with champions, but you're not saying the other part I just said, right? You obviously need to be respectful, but also very firm in your standards and you do not settle, period. So those are the big reasons, the five big reasons why realtors hate working with average Joe LOs and how to flip the script. So again, those five reasons are they come across as loan leeches. They don't have unique value. They have the same lame ass approach as everyone else. They come from a place of weakness as opposed to strength. They come across as inclusive, inclusive instead of exclusive. And they're a prospector versus a positioner. They chase as opposed to attract. So make sure you steer clear of those landmines, those hurdles. Make sure that you design your approach to navigate away from all those landmines so you can thread the needle on having an elegant, powerful, and effective approach where you're attracting and working with top producers who make you their exclusive, they put you on their speed dial, working on your terms, not theirs, and make sure you're not using caveman methods from the dark ages like cold calling. There's something called 21st century technology that allows you to automate that process. Why do it the hard way? Why build the foundation for your skyscraper with a gardening trial when you have something called a excavator that allows you to get it done so much easier, faster, with more fun and fulfillment. It doesn't make sense, right? There's no brownie points. Like I said before, there's no brownie points at the bank for doing it the hard way. Now, if you'd like to learn more about my proven system and how that can help you multiply your income, condense decades into days, achieve your income goals better, faster, easier than you ever thought possible, Avoid the landmines that get you wasting your time on stuff that doesn't work. If you want to learn how to really take your business to a whole other level, if you're committed to adding at least $100,000 to your annual income with a battle-tested proven plan that allows you to attract top producing realtors, make you their exclusive, put you on their speed dial, working on your terms, not theirs, without the hell of cold calling, chasing, begging, bribing, or kissing ass, if you want to be able to, if you have a database, mine the gold from your database so you're able to pick up that low-hanging fruit, maximize repeat and referral business so you're not chasing you know, dollars to pick up, stepping over dollars to pick up dimes, as it were. Because a lot of the times, that's what people are doing. They're buying internet leads. They're buying Zillow leads. They're chasing bottom feeding, whining, simply complaining, low producing realtors to the neglect of the top producers. They're using these old hat methods they're sifting through a bunch of gravel to find the gold nuggets. They're doing Facebook leads, giving, getting crap leads that don't convert, and they don't do it using automation. They're just treating them all the same, pounding the phones, being a, you know, a phone monkey all day, every day with an office ball and chain around their ankle, basically a guinea pig on a guinea pig wheel, and they're going nowhere. There's all kinds of activity, but not a whole lot of productivity. If you want to learn the proven path to have productivity, not just activity, be able to attract those top producing partners, mine the gold from your database if you have them, if you have one, so you can maximize repeat and referral business, diversify your lead streams so you're able to build a rock solid, proven, recession proof and success certain business where your income continually grows every single month, regardless of the market or the rates. Then I invite you to take advantage of a complimentary breakthrough call. Again, this is only for mortgage professionals who are on 100% commission and who wanna make at least an additional $100,000 in commissions to their annual income. If that's you and you're sick and tired of doing it the hard way, you're sick and tired of spinning your wheels, you're sick and tired of doing it longer and harder than you could or should, and you know you're capable of so much more if you just had the right plan, the right system, the right approach, I invite you to take advantage of a complimentary call by going to mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Again, that's mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. We're going to get on the phone, either myself or one of my, my consultants, and we're going to lift up the hood on your business. And we're going to look at what's working in your business right now. What's not working in your business right now? Where are you now in your business? Where do you want to be? And if we can help you get to that next level, by all means, we will show you how. If not, for whatever reason, frankly, we will be the very first people to advise you to pass on our services. Either way, though, you, you'll leave the call with massive value, massive clarity. Chances are we'll even have some fun. All right? So if that sounds meaningful and worthwhile to you, I invite you to book the call. Go to mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Again, this is Dorn Aldana from The Art of Mortgage Marketing from mortgagemarketingcoach.com. And today we talked about why realtors hate 
Average Joe LOs and how to flip the script. So now take this coaching, apply it to your business and see if it doesn't absolutely multiply your results and make growing your business, working with realtors, infinitely more fun and fruitful. Again, this is Doran Aldana. It's been great hanging with you. Now go forth, take massive action, bring massive positive energy to that action. Chances are you're going to get massive results. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.